Greetings and salutations, YouTube land. Pure Evil here again, along with my lovely assistant. And that means only one thing. We once again have for you the Zanini box. If you're not familiar with this box, it is a collection of pop culture pins. Uh, they have a ton of different plans available, uh, ranging anywhere from three to five pins a month. And they also have things where you can get like locking backs and trading cards and all sorts of other things. Uh, they usually run at somewhere between like $10 and $15 a month for just the pins and more if you want the extra stuff. I just go with the five pin plan. Are you ready? Let's get to the unboxing! Chomp! Thank you. So, I think we finished up two different collections last time, so... I'm not sure what is going to be in this one. It should be exciting. I'm going to pull the pins out and just kind of lay them down so I can't see. It looks like they included a locking back this time. I have plenty of those. Okay. There's everything in there. Nothing up my sleeve. Cheat sheet, we'll set that off to the side. Here's all the pins. Okay, assistant, which one should we do first? A little closer. And we have Duke Nukem. That's a throwback and a half. <laughs> Show the camera first. And we have, ooh, Iron Man. I wonder if we're starting an Avengers set. It's kind of funny. Before the movies, he really wasn't that big a character, and now he's like their most popular. Show the camera first. Ooh, that would be, I believe that's, ah, it's Scarlet. I always get her and Lady J crossed for some reason. Nice, I didn't think they were going to be including any more G.I. Joe pins. That's a really neat surprise. I always liked Scarlet a lot. Not quite as good as Baroness, but hey, you know. And we have... Garfield! Oh my god, that is awesome. <laughs> oh, if you look at the backing of it, you can see where they've got the claw marks going down. Like he's sliding down the drapes. Really, really good design on that pin. They've done a lot of cartoon pins lately, and they've really been nailing those. And finally, we have... Ah, one my son will be interested in. We have Hellraiser. That's... I have no clue what that thing's name is. I know they call him Pinhead. I know he's got some other sort of name. It's actually really nice how they have, like, his little puzzle box back there and everything. So, all in all, not a bad month. Here's the spoiler. Black and white this time. So, basic got Hellraiser, Garfield, Duke Nukem. Standard got Scarlet, and Premium gets Iron Man. Honestly, if you don't go Premium, you're just missing out on good pins for not much more. Usually the best pins come with the Premium. So, which one was your favorite this time? Good help's hard to get. <laughs> yeah, I've got to agree. The cartoon pins are really, really where they shine. Like the comic-based ones. Really, really good design on that one. Although, honestly, there wasn't really a bad pin in this group. Even the one that I wasn't really crazy about. You know, it just doesn't hit my interest. At least it has a really nice design to it. Alright. Well... Until next time, this is Pure Evil saying, be excellent to each other, party on, dudes.